In 2008, a group of people with a strong interest in the future of Darlington put their heads together and came up with a grand plan. Bing! For the future. It was all going smoothly, but everything changed when the global economic crisis hit. Suddenly, there was a lot less money with which to implement the plan. It was time to start seeing things differently. We still want one Darlington, where people can expect the same opportunities as others. And we still want Darlington to have the right homes, jobs, facilities and transport to enable it to thrive. For example, if people can help themselves more, we won't have to spend so much money on doing things for them. And all public bodies have less money in the pot, but we think we can do more if we put all our pots together and spend them wisely. And if we have more businesses and more jobs, everyone will have more money to spend in Darlington, including us. These things are easy to say, but less easy to do. We have made a good start in working differently, with many successful Darlington Partnership projects. There are people volunteering to help all over Darlington, and communities are rising to the challenge. We are working together with lots of other people already, but we have plans to work even closer with our health colleagues. There are great new businesses coming to Darlington, bringing both jobs and other businesses. But the journey's far from over. If we don't do things differently, then we just won't have enough money. In essence, our vision is the same. But in the new plan, we say what we think are the most important things we need to do and how we need to achieve them. For example, we want to ensure that children should have the best start in life. What does that mean? Children should mean all children. So when we provide sport or education or healthcare for children, this includes disabled children, children who live in different communities, and those without money. The best start is because we know that when they are younger, tackling things like involvement in sport, reading skills, and healthy eating habits is much easier and more likely to last. If we wait until children are older, then it will be harder to bring about change, and will probably cost more too. Giving children the right start is not just the job of the teachers, or the council, or the parents. In Kijita, there is a proverb which says, regardless of a child's biological parents, its upbringing belongs to the community. And we can help parents, neighbours and friends to do their bit too. So, how do we know if we're getting it right? In the plan, there are some key things we will keep an eye on. These help to tell us whether we really are giving children a better start and whether it is making a difference to what they achieve and how healthy and happy they are. Our new plan is our manual. It tells us what we need to do, so we need to follow it. We have fantastic staff with lots of skills. We have lots of great partnerships. And above all, we have a plan. Some think that the power to achieve lies in individuals. And Darlington is a place where individuals rise to the challenge and make great strides forward. But working together is essential for survival. Getting good players is easy, Getting them to play together is the hard part. The secret is to gang up on the problem rather than each other. Charles Darwin once said, it is the long history of humankind, and animal kind too. Those who learn to collaborate and improvise most effectively have prevailed. So, let's work together to see a prosperous, healthy Darlington. <laughs>